bullet took the life of this little boy in Lynchburg, anger and heartbreak gripped the community. In response, city leaders adopted a citywide curfew for those under the age of 18 in an effort to reduce crime. Yeah, the curfew's been in place now a little more than a month. We wanted to see how it's working. What I found might surprise you. As light makes way for the darkness, youth ball games are wrapping up. Folks are finding their way downtown, and the police are going wherever they're needed. News coverage you can count on. This is ABC 13 News at 11. 11 p.m. is also the time when Lynchburg's citywide youth curfew begins. The city launched its curfew for those 17 and under because of what happened in May in a house on this street. Six-year-old Kingston Campbell was playing video games in his house when a bullet fired from outside hit and killed him. Police released this video shortly after Kingston's death. It shows shots being fired and people running. The killer still out there. A curfew may not have saved the little boy, but some are happy it's in place. I think they're doing pretty good. It's working for okay. the moment. I'm glad that, you know, it's helping the youth, keeping them out of trouble. We sit outside quite often and don't see any kids out after 11. Yeah. I think it's working. The curfew is from 11 p.m. until 5 a.m. and carries a fine of up to $250. There are some exceptions, like if a child is with a parent or guardian or they're on the sidewalk directly outside of their home with a parent inside. I ain't had no lighter, but I really had and that brings us to this neighborhood and something we weren't expecting. It's 11.35, 35 minutes past curfew. I'm at First and Federal. And as you can see, there are a number of young people still outside. In fact, a DJ not long ago set up a table and is now entertaining the crowd here with music. We're blurring the faces of those at this block party because from what we could tell, most of them were teens and younger, like this little boy. I brought what we saw to the attention of Police Chief Ryan Zudema. Police drove up and down the streets, but yet there were still a number of, had to be teenagers there and also younger kids. No intervention there, at least from when we were there by police. Is there a reason for that? So I can't speak specifically to that. I wasn't there and, and don't know all the details of it. But what I can tell you generally is that, you know, our officers are going to use first and foremost common sense. Uh, they're going to use their discretion. So what might cause the police to write curfew citations in a situation like this? If there are a bunch of complaints in an area, would that change things? No, certainly. You know, we want to listen to the community, right? Now, we're here to serve the community, and if there are, you know, large groups, for example, of, of kids that are in a specific area that are causing all sorts of disruption, then certainly we'd pay more attention to that area. While it's only been in place since May 26th, Chief Zudema says the curfew seems to be making a difference. He points to fewer unlocked vehicles being broken into and things stolen. He says it's a crime young thieves are often connected to. The numbers uh, for June compared to both our five-year average as well as the previous June are down about 48%. Uh, so uh, I won't say it's necessarily causative, but there's certainly a, a correlation there. I also filed an open records request for the number of curfew citations Lynchburg police have written. So far, they've handed out 12 in these nine areas across the city. The youngest getting a citation, only 12 years old. LPD also reports there have been no shootings last month involving juveniles. By the way, that block party at First and Federal was still going strong when we left that area around 12.45 a.m. So the curfew will remain in place until December 1st. Now I asked Chief Zudema if it's something he'd like to see in place long term. He told me he wants to look at the data first. To read Lynchburg's curfew ordinance, just go to our website, WSET.com, and search curfew. Hey there, I'm Dana Evans with ABC 13. Click the subscribe button to get more of our content. You can also click on the links to watch more of the videos. Thanks for watching.